We watched Vampire from 1932. I I liked it. It was a little boring at times, but then again, it is also an old movie. I love this movie. No, I did like this movie, though. I loved the aesthetic of it. Not the uh, old aesthetic, but just it, gave, it made a nice atmosphere. I, I really like that atmosphere. This movie has a lot of nice shots in it. Oh, yeah. It has lots of nice shots. Like, it starts off pretty strong with, like, a cool shot with a guy with a scythe. And then... I, yeah, I like that The part. uh, I think you might have fallen asleep for this part, but I really like this part, where uh, towards the beginning of the movie when the main character, Alan Gray, is walking around, and there's, like, uh, shadows doing a whole bunch of weird stuff. I, that was the part I fell asleep for. Okay. Well, it's all throughout the movie. You see, like, shadows in the background or, like... Oh. I we, think I caught... Or, like, reflections in the lake of a shadow, but, uh, but like, nobody's there. But at the beginning of the movie, there's, like, a whole sequence where he's walking around. You see, like, the shadow of the guy with the peg leg. Like, yeah, and, and then, then it, gets, like... It, yeah. And, and it, like, joins back up with him. Yeah, I saw that. And I then, saw that part. And yeah. then, like, you, you see a whole bunch of people, like, dancing and, like, band playing, but nobody's there. It's just a shadow. Uh, I did not see that part. Okay. I only saw the uh, peg leg guy. Well, it was there. And it's cool. I like that some things in this movie don't make sense, but I like it because it... Adds to the mystery, adds to the... It, like, adds to the atmosphere. Like, the whole movie is very off-putting. Yeah, I would agree with that, for sure. There's no real plot holes, not that I would want to be, like, that kind of guy. But yeah. if I had to be, like, a nitpick guy, and I find this more just kind of funny... Like, when the main guy, like, go finds the uh, mansion of uh, the uh, man that just kind of broke into his room earlier. And he said, open this when I die. He says, uh, or like, uh, he sees the old guy get shot through the window. And then, like, he runs to the front door and he's like, let me in! Let me in! And the butler guy just, like, lets him in. And they never, like, ask him... They never, like, ask him, like, did you see who shot him? Or even, like, think, like, maybe this random guy that showed up right after our master was shot is the guy that maybe he's shot him, you know? They never really I'll, question it. They, they and like Also, you'd think you'd hear, like, a gunshot. Like, you'd, you'd hear rifle fire, you know? You'd hear bang. Maybe it had an old-timey <laughs> rifle silencer. It didn't. You but saw then it. the main character p pounding on the front door, he heard that no problem. <laughs> but then, like, after that, he's just, like, the master of the house, like, telling the servants what to do. And I don't have a problem with that. I just think it's kind of, like, weird, weird, but, like, funny, kind of. And it's just kind of, I don't know. Yeah. I really like the dream sequence thingy. Like, the, the part in the coffin where you see his yeah, point of view. Yeah, I really like that. Like, just the, uh... Very ahead of its time. Yeah, just, like, nice, cool scenery. Nice, like, looking up at the church, like... And, as like, you're being buried, like, carried out to be buried. I don't know, that's a cool... That's no, cool imagery for me. And, personally. like, people looking down on him and stuff. Yeah. And when he goes to, uh, at the beginning of the dream sequence, when he, like, lays down, or, like, he sits on the bench, and then, like, like another one of him gets up, and it's, like, transparent, you know, just kind of, you know? Yeah, I thought that cool was, Cool like, things! I thought that was weird. I wasn't sure if that meant, like, he freaking died, but, like... This whole movie is just a lot of cool things, and I like it more each time I see it. It helps that I've also read the script, and I've seen it multiple times, so, like, I know what's happening. And I'm constantly entertained by it. But the first time I saw it, I thought it was a little slow as well. I think it's kind of one of the things... I don't know, it's one of those movies you, you, you can appreciate more the more you watch it. Maybe I have to watch it more. I would be definitely down to watch it more. I really do enjoy, like, watching these types of movies and, like, even just putting it on in the background for sure. Like, the music is... It's so I good it puts you to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but I really did enjoy the music and the imagery, just everything, the atmosphere, it's all there. It's just, it did feel a little slow for me. Maybe, like, if I watch it more, like, I will enjoy it a lot more. Well, like, when I, like, now that I know what's going on and I like everything in it, like, it seems pretty fast-paced to me, because it's, it's a very short movie. It's like, 
70 minutes, maybe a little more than 70 minutes, like 72 minutes. It really didn't feel like that for me. It felt a bit longer, but then again, I also and didn't it's, fall asleep. So. And, it's, and it's really, like, to the point a lot of times. Like, they don't waste time with, like, character development, which you could be like, oh, that's a problem. But I don't think it is. And then, and then at the end, you, like, they just kill the vampire and there's no problems. Yeah. And it's like, wow, that was easy. <laughs> I, yeah, that was a weird part of it. I was just like, huh, that that's it? Like, for the, the vampire? Like, that's not a complaint. That's just, it's different. It's, like, you don't see that much, like, especially in movies nowadays. But they more focus on the death of the doctor, which I also thought was a cool part. Yeah, it was. At the end of the movie when he's buried in the cocaine. <laughs> Like, the whole movie, I feel like, is full of easy effects that look impressive. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, the whole thing with the shadows. Like, I'm sure all that stuff for the shadows is probably, you know, easy to do. But it just looks cool. Well, I mean, stuff. probably back then it probably wasn't easy to do. I like how, like, the whole movie is generally pretty easy to follow. If you're not on your phone. Fuck off. <laughs> but, like, the last, like, 15 or so minutes... Kind of gets, like, a little trippy-ish. A little trippy, yeah. Once the dream sequence starts, it's like it's kind of confu- not confusing. It's just kind of like, huh? well, what's going on? Apparently the doctor kidnapped the one of the daughters. And, like, in the dream, he sees, like, where the key to the door is. And then when he wakes up, like, the key is there. And he, like, frees her and stuff. Maybe it wasn't a... Well, like, it was a dream, but it was, like, a dream under the vampire's power that, like, allowed him to see things and gave him a vision of him dying, like, because the vampire was going to kill him. Okay. Okay. But then <laughs> after the vampire dies, we see, uh, Peg Leg Pete. Pete and, <laughs> Damn, uh, we said that at the fucking same time. And the doctor just kind of hanging out, and the uh, guy with the Peg Leg is playing the banjo. And then in the window, it's the face of the man from earlier, and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know either. Yeah, I mean it's probably symbolism of something. The first time I saw it, I thought it was the face of the vampire, and I was like, that makes a bit more sense. That's what I thought it was. But like watching it again, it's clearly the face of the old guy from earlier. What if the old guy from earlier was a vampire? Or no, because he was shot. <laughs> I was about to say. Wait, well, no. What if he didn't die? Because he was a vampire. Then, then sequel, why was this a problem? Sequel bait. But why was his head that big in the window? I don't know. Vampire powers? Okay. This is what you get for shooting me. Make the peg leg guy fall down the stairs. And I feel like he got off easy for the guy. I mean, he's the one that shot him. But yeah, then but the doctor But was... then the doctor got a long, drawn-out death. But I guess the doctor was the one that was hecking with his daughter. I like how the vampire is kind of like just an old lady. Yeah. It's not like clearly like spook vampire, black cloak, big old spook teeth. Yeah, it's, it's just... just an old lady. I also like, like, I know some people will be like, reading in my movie? I don't think so. But I think I enjoy the walls of text in this movie. Even though I was on my phone for some of it, I did enjoy those too. Like, well, it's more at the beginning of the movie. They have, like, explaining who Alan Gray is and what he's doing and stuff. And I like that because it seems like a lot of old, like... I feel like all movies need stuff like that. Because I'm very, I'm very confused when I watch movies a lot of time, times. And I think it'd be very convenient if all movies just cut to a, a wall of text explaining what's happening. It saved me a lot of confusion. But then later in the movie, when uh, Alan and the butler are reading the Book of Vampires... I think that stuff is interesting. I do too. Like, I mean, ev I mean, everyone knows stuff about like you know vampire stuff, but I don't know, just the way it was like written and like the like the look of the old book and stuff. I just think it's cool, and that's my review of the movie. I just think it's cool. I think it's pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of vampire movies in general. I'm gonna throw out that controversial opinion. So the fact uh, that I like this movie as much as I do is impressive. Honestly, with my general eh towards vampire movies, I put this as one of my top vampire movies personally. I mean, I don't watch many vampire movies. Would I say I'm very, like, against them? No. 
I don't mind vampire movies, and I think this one was... Like Twilight, you heckin' weeb. <laughs> you done? Okay, final thoughts. Final thoughts? I feel like we already gave final thoughts. I yeah. like it. It's pretty good.